Anytime bombs are used to target innocent civilians, it is an act of terror. Obama, who exactly do you think you're fooling at this point? You have expanded and extended the drone program into Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia, a program which by official accounts has killed over 4,700 people as of this February, 98% of which were civilian non-combatants. This is a program that you personally, as the commander-in-chief, have the power to stop. So the blood from those 4,600 civilian men, women, and children who were killed from those bombs is on your hands. And this isn't even taking into account all the people who have died as a result of your interventions in Libya and the continuation of the war in Afghanistan. By your own definition, you are a terrorist. If there were any justice in the United States, it would be you rotting in Guantanamo. You've made quite an effort to keep our attention off of this, but it's not working. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. And so I would get a question like that and literally I, I couldn't tell you what Major asked because once I figured out it was about the drone program, <laughs> I realized I'm not supposed to talk about it. And, but here's what's inherently crazy about that proposition. You're being asked a question based on reporting of a program that exists. <laughs> right. So you're the official government spokesperson exactly. acting as if entire program pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Right, yeah. Listen Obama, you might as well just drop all the pretenses and false morality. Spare us your feigned compassion and crocodile tears. We're not buying it. You're just another George Bush with a better marketing department and a more refined vocabulary. How dare you give us a lecture about morality? You and the rest of these criminals running the United States government have squeezed the last drops of credibility out of the system, and there is no fixing that. So if you're going to try to pass new laws further restricting the freedoms of the American people, don't sugarcoat it. Don't try to spin it as an effort to protect the public or to prevent violence. Drop the bullshit. Just come right out and tell us how it is. Just for once, I'd like to see you stand up in front of that camera and admit that you view yourself as above the law, and that violence is a political tool that you use at your discretion and condemn at your convenience, and that human life in your world is only as sacred as the words running across your teleprompter. In the meantime, please, spare us the theatrics. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to this channel, Storm Clouds Gathering, on YouTube. For updates and bonus content, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Storm Clouds Gathering, on Twitter at Collapse Updates, and our website, stormcloudsgathering.com.